I don't know how it does it, but I'm here for it. Mm. This is hands down probably my favorite piece of kitchen equipment ever. It turns any frozen liquid into soft serve. I'm gonna show you how I make my protein ice cream. You can't mess it up. You just hit respin. Cliff note version, respin over and over until it's soft serve. Here we go. What you need, your favorite protein, preferably casein or whey mix. It's just gonna blend a little better. Vegan will do the trick as well. The consistency is gonna be a little off. Then you need your form of liquid. I like unsweetened almond milk, other forms will do. And then if you like it extra sweet, stevia. So if you're like me, you wanna fill that baby to the absolute brim. You want maximum capacity. So that's gonna be about 400 milliliters of your liquid. Then go ahead and bless up with one heaping scoop of your favorite protein powder. It's gonna be about 40 grams. Then if you have an extra sweet tooth like me, you want a little bit, you want just a little bit extra something. So we're gonna add a little bit of stevia. And that's it for ingredients. Sometimes I'll get fancy fancy and I'll add a little teaspoon of this, which is not even a full serving. It's about a half serving, uh, but it really doesn't need it. You just gotta hit respin one more time. So that's what we're gonna do. But first you're gonna wanna mix this. So I have a Ninja little blender, but you can also get old school with it, get a little bicep workout and just mix it up and get that bicep going. Now this is really the only downfall to the whole process. Once you pour it in, you put the lid on, and then you gotta freeze it for 24 hours. Now, can you get by with a shorter time frame? Yes, but I will say 24 hours is that sweet spot. The consistency is gonna be a little bit better. I've tried eight to 10. It works, it'll do the trick, but 24 is better, the only downfall to the whole process. So make sure you stock up on these bad boys. So go put this in the freezer. And you know I have extras in the freezer of a lot of flavors. So once you got that, you're gonna open it up. You're gonna get your thing, open the thing, put that thing into the thing until it clicks. And you're gonna hear another click. And then finally, and then finally, I'm, I'm right-handed, this is not left. That last click. Then you're gonna hit that on button, full, and I'm gonna start with a light ice cream. Four minutes, let's go. And we're not done, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's gonna look like this. That is not done, no deal. We're gonna respin, but first I'm just gonna add a little bit more liquid to speed up the process. Just a touch, just a touch, just a tip. Get full ice cream, let's give it a go. Let's see it. And typically we're gonna have to spin again. It's not done. I'm the most impatient person ever but it'll be worth it. Now, typically if I put the pudding mix in, it only needs two spins, maybe one more. But if you don't, you gotta re-spin one or two more times, which whatever, I'll do it. I'll find stuff to do in the meantime, four minutes, I, I can do that. So I'm just gonna hit re-spin. Let's see it. Now, typically, okay, so this, pretty good. And it tastes pretty good like this. But I want that TCBY out of the spigot. Just perfect consistency. So we're gonna do it one more time and then it's perfect. <laughs> Was it worth the wait? <laughs> Absolutely. It's gotta look like that. It's gotta look like that. Just you hit respin until it looks like this because it will eventually look like this and then dear lord so this is how i eat it here are the macros i mean it's it's a protein shake in ice cream form it's a beautiful thing i mean what a time to be alive now if you want to get a little little fancy with it add some mix-ins so this one's peanut butter and here's what i'd add for the mix-ins so i could add in some little quest mini reese cups i could add in my beloved fit crunch bar i just smash it on up and kind of put it in the center Add some cookies, whatever you want. If you're feeling extra, you know, if you're in a mood, you're in a mood, you could add a little bit of that. You know, it's the possibilities are endless. So if you were to do that, you just chop them on up, put them in the center, put it in, hit power full, 
And then instead of a respin, you hit the mix in. Now, another great combo that I have got to show you because it's so, so good. This pumpkin protein powder with, instead of, this is a butterscotch, some cheesecake pudding mix. Oh my goodness. And then if you want, add a little bit of like graham crackers to it. Oh, you'll thank me later. So that's it. All you need to do, freeze that liquid for 24 hours. That's the worst part. Second worst part is the waiting game. Because if you don't have a lot of fat in the mix, you're gonna have to hit respin. But eventually if you hit that respin button enough, it's gonna make it exactly like soft serve. And it is a beautiful thing, my friends. You could take your coffee, put some protein powder in, freeze it, mix it. I mean, it's worth it. So if your mom and your child wants an easy bake oven for Christmas, you know, maybe you show them this cool ice cream maker and then it's a win-win all around. Not that I did that or anything for Malia's birthday. She loves it too. So she loves it. They love it. My kids love it. Also makes the perfect sorbet. I've taken the pomegranate juice that you just buy from the bottle, put it in, mixed it. Beautiful sorbet. No stevia, no nothing. And it was awesome. I've, I've taken pineapple, mixed it in the Ninja and then froze it. Pineapple sorbet. I mean, it's super fun. It tastes amazing. And yeah, just take your favorite protein powder, some sort of liquid. I've even done water before, but almond milk or some sort of milk is, is preferred. Respin that sucker. And then you just hit respin until you get the consistency that your heart desires. And that is it. Super simple. If you have a recipe that you enjoy, please let me know. And I'm gonna try it. So just comment below with your favorite recipe because I'm just pretty basic right now. So I'd love to hear your favorite recipe and that's it. Hope you enjoyed.